Hey guys, John here. Welcome to week three of my Knife Making Tuesday adventure. Um, if you remember the first week, I uh, machined a bunch of little tiny blades just to see if I could do it. Turned out great. Uh, week two, I did not post a video, but I got to spend uh, the whole day working on CAD, designing my knife. Got it all designed, that's awesome. And then this is week three, and today is make the first knife. I'm trying to spend the whole day, um, make the whole knife start to finish. It's already noon and I haven't really made anything, just been coding on the computer, but um, I'm getting there. So I'm going to first uh, work on my CNC lathe. I haven't touched it in like seven months and I kind of miss it. So I'm going to make um, a few different thumb studs, I'm going to make some standoffs, and I'm going to modify the, um, the pivot pins that I'm using. And then after that, uh, i got to code up the, uh, the handles and the blades, and then um, i got to make a fixture plate for that so that I can hold it all down to the table. And then, I don't know, a bunch of finishing work maybe, and see whatever else it takes. So um, let's get right to it. Well, i got to say I'm not doing too good. I'm trying to do these tiny little... Uh, the one on the left is a standoff, the one on the right is a going to be a thumb stud, and I keep breaking taps. No fun at all. Uh, the trouble with titanium is that it work hardens if you cut it too fast or wrong or whatever. And so instead of being fairly easy to tap, it just turns into a rock. Super duper hard stuff that just kills taps. So I'm kind of, um, I spent the whole afternoon on this stupid project and uh, I'm gonna give up for now and um, get working on the blades and the handles because that's I'm more excited about that than I am about this so you know I got standoff made pretty nicely uh, sorry I don't have any video of that I was gonna sort of perfect the process and then make a good video but obviously I haven't gotten that far maybe next week So unfortunately making that uh, thumb stud and standoff is as far as I got on Knife Making Tuesday. Uh, but now it's Wednesday and I'm sort of stole some time and I'm finding to uh, to work on my CAD program here and get the code all written so I can hopefully bust out a few blades. Um, so here is my knife design. It's the first one. <clears throat> Just a bunch of ideas I've thrown together. I want to see it in one package and see that I can design it in CAD. Uh, so as you can tell, this side's a button lock. I'm really anxious to try a button lock. Uh, it's got sort of an Anso style blade. I added a bunch of features and changed it around a bunch to suit myself. Got some nice uh, jimping in the top. Um, nice countersunk bolt heads. Big beefy pivot. And on this side, it's a frame lock. Now it turns out I can't make a knife both a frame lock and a button lock at the same time because uh, it just doesn't work. Um, I, it occupies the same space on the blade. So I'm going to make uh, two nearly identical knives. One's going to be a frame lock, one's going to be a button lock. And this is just a rendering of both of them put together. So I've got my clip. Um, this is just a clip I bought from USA Knife Maker. I got that designed up and overall I'm super duper happy with this design. Um, it's going to be 9-ish inches open and let's see if we can close it here that didn't work and just to close it there so that's what it looks like closed. I am thrilled with the way it looks. I have no idea how it's going to feel in the hand or anything, but I cannot wait to bust this thing out. So anyway, that's that. Um, maybe next Tuesday I'll be able to machine it, maybe sooner if I can find some time. And um, I'll probably make the handles out of aluminum first, just because it's easier for me to machine. And the blade's going to be 304 stainless steel, which is just metal store basic stuff. Not good for blade steel, but 
good for proof of concept. And then if it works, I'll make one out of RWL. Really nice, uh, nice Swedish stainless steel. So finally I got to make a little bit of actual progress. This is my fixture plate, uh, where I get to bolt all the, all the material down to for machining. So a very important uh, part of the job. Um, for reference, here's a, uh, this is the one I made for the Emersons, the CQC7 and the Mini A100. And on the back, which is what I'm doing right now, has all these hexagonal holes where I'm going to press in um, all these little metric M4 nuts, just like this. So that lets me screw the metal down very securely into a um, stainless steel nut instead of into threaded aluminum because I've had that um, strip out on me before. So uh, yeah, it's ready to go. Let's hit go and hope everything works right. And that's that. So I've got uh, about 14 holes that I'm going to do and I'm just going to leave that and let it run. And um, yeah, my next video will be um, obviously me making, turning good metal into, um, you know, knife parts. Let's see, in here I got uh, these pieces of RWL, eighth inch stainless steel. This is, uh, I don't know how long this piece is, 15, 16 inches maybe, by 2 inches. This should make really nice blade steels. And here's some of that titanium rod that I made into um, the standoffs that are now garbage. So anyway, there's my meager knife collection. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, Next video will have some cool stuff, hopefully. Probably Emerson video, actually. So take care, guys. Bye. So take care, guys. Bye.